Hello, once again, I am Jim Ducart. This tour of the highlights of the 2017 TND Howe Signature Series, sponsored by Burns and McDonald, starts in Rockport, Massachusetts, where we watched National Grid change out a primary conductor. You can see that some of our best camera shots were from GoPros mounted on the hard hats of line crew. We then moved on to Uxbridge, Massachusetts, where National Grid showed us the installation of a new wooden distribution pole. Then we went down the street in Uxbridge to see the installation of an extension arm, a temporary extension arm, which holds a line as they install a new pole and cross arm. You can see here both shots from above, the GoPro in the bucket, and also from the ground, the movement of this energized line to its temporary home on that temporary extension arm. We went to Houston, Texas, where Centerpoint Energy showed us a demonstration of their robotic jackhammer, remote controlled, and it can be lowered into underground duct banks to knock out concrete and sparing workers having to go down and run jackhammers in those underground duct banks. We then sent GoPro cameras down into a manhole at a substation near Houston, Texas to watch Centerpoint Energy do phase tracking, cable cutting, and then cable splicing in what is called an underground cut around. In this case, they used a cold shrink termination to perform this underground cut around. And here are the newly spliced and completed cables. We went to Kansas City, Missouri on I-35 in the middle of the night to see a three-phase distribution line crossing over Interstate 35, including some tricky angles. You can see here spools of feeder rope, also what's called a bullet that uh, drags the rope and connects with conductor that is then pulled across the interstate. You see here on the receiving end of this cable pull. The very next day, we saw Kansas City Power and Light use what are called dynamometers to sag these lines across the interstate, these new distribution lines. You see a dynamometer there up on the line. You see another one here in a second. The day after the line sag with dynamometers, we got a chance to see Kansas City Power and Light show us an arm buddy, which is this orange instrument that is brought up onto a cross arm and helps uh, the line crews move lines from a dolly onto a new insulator. We were on the Atlantic coast of Florida on the Intracoastal Waterway where we saw the Fort Pierce Utility Authority install and then frame a new concrete distribution pole in this beautiful scenic Intracoastal Waterway. And then less than a month later, we were back in Florida in the wake of Hurricane Irma, where we met up with crews from both Kansas City Power and Light and Centerpoint as they performed heroic power restoration efforts in the wake of Hurricane Irma. We finished the year in upstate New York, where National Grid showed us the form, function, and installation of line watch sensors.